Hello. Today we are going to look at the noisy communications channel. And I called it part one because there is two parts. We will start with a, a simple B symmetric channel. And then in part two, we will look, look at other channels as well. Uh, the lecture is based on Pierce's wonderful book, An Introduction to Information Theory. If you don't have that book, go and get it, buy it. It's a very nice book. Okay, let's start. We have a source that sends signals. It's transmitted. We have some noise and it's received. S is the bits that we send. N is the noise that is added. And S plus N is the received signal. And here you see the, the sending. Uh, when you send a one, you send it as a positive pulse. If when you're sending a zero, you're sending as a negative pulse. And then you have two positive pulses and then a negative pulse and a negative pulse and a positive and a negative. And then you have some noise added. Here you see the noise is in the same direction as the signal, so that is no problem. Here, the noise is in the opposite direction and may become a problem. Here is also the noise in the opposite direction of the signal. Here is in the same direction, so no problem. In the same direction, no problem. In the same direction, no problem. In the opposite direction, a problem, and so on and so forth. And here is what we receive. Here, we receive the same as we sense, since the noise was in the same direction. Here, we got a problem because we were sending this and we got this noise added. So we received that one, a positive pulse, and then we guessed it to be one, but it was actually zero, and then we got an error. And also here, we sent the positive pulse, but then we got some noise that was negative, and we get a negative pulse received, and we guess it's a zero, and then we guess wrong again. We also guess wrong here. So we got three errors when we were doing this. Here is an example, a system that can send and receive the numbers from zero to nine. If the system is noiseless, x equals one n gives y equals n. That means, for instance, if you are sending one, then you will receive one. If you are sending seven, you will receive seven. That is a noiseless channel. But if the channel is not noiseless, if you have a, a transmitter here x, and for instance, send four, there is a possibility that you can have either zero, one, two, three, four, five, and up to nine with different probabilities. And also if you receive six, it's a certain probability that it was a zero or a one or a two or a three or a four up to nine. Uh, now we are going to look at the entropy, the in uncertainty on both sides. Here is a formula for the entropy, H of X. It's a sum over all these numbers here from zero to nine. And the first here is the probability of having either zero, one, four, eight, or one of those. That is the probability here. And log two to one divided by the probability uh, gives you the number of bits that you need to represent this uh, transmitted uh, signal. And here is the same thing. You have just turned this round and then you get the minus here. On the receiver side, you have the same uncertainty of what is coming. And that is given by H of Y and some Y equals zero to M and that is nine. And then is the probability of having one of those and logarithm to having one of those, logarithm two. And the logarithm two is needed in order to get out bits. If we can see both sides, 
then we can talk about the uncertainty of having x and y, and then you sum over x and you sum over i, and then you have the probability of having x and y together and the logarithm two of having x and y together. So that is the uncertainty of the combination of x and y. Uh, and if we, we know that we sent x, that for instance, we know that we sent x equals to four, and we can say h x y, uh, the conditioned conditional probability of uncertainty, sum over x equals zero to m, or y equals to zero or m, then minus, then we have the probability of the, the known x we have sent, uh, the conditional probability when receiving e, that y that we have sent x and the logarithm of the conditional probability. So, and if we know that y was received, we have this conditional probability. We sum over x and y. We know the, the, pro, uh, the distribution of p over of y. And then there's the conditional probability of having a given y that we have been sending x. And also here is the conditional probability. And so then we have some relations. H of x, y is the same as x, h, x plus h, x plus x of y. The uncertainty of sending x and receive y is the same as the uncertainty of sending x and getting y when x is sent. And also the other way around, we have that the uncertainty of getting y when sending x is the same as the uncertainty of getting y plus the uncertainty that x was sent when y was received. It can be shown, I will not do that, that the rate of the transmission is given by the entropy of the transmitter minus uh, the conditional probability of having y when x is sent. The rate r depends both on the message source and the channel. With a given channel, noise included, we can choose the message source in such way that we get the maximum transmission capacity. This maximum channel capacity is denoted C. And we have been into this C before when we looked at the, the maximum uh, channel capacity in a, in a channel. And this R, this rate that we calculate can never be higher than the maximum channel capacity. We are going to look at the binary symmetric channel where P0 and P1 is equal one half. It's the same, it's a symmetric channel. Uh, this channel is very popular since everything else is extremely difficult. We are going to calculate the entropy on the transmitter side, X going from zero to one minus PX log two to PX. Uh, when we set in P0 is one half, when we set in P1 is one half, and then we take the logarithm two to P zero plus the logarithm to P one, which uh, one half, and then we get that the entropy of X is equal to one. And then we are calculating the conditional entropy. Um, and here we are summing I, Y from zero to one and X from zero to one. And this is what we are going to calculate. We write it out here and we put in for, for y one half here and one half here. And then we have the conditional probabilities. And here is the conditional probabilities of going from zero to zero or from one to zero. And here from zero to one or for one to one. And, um, you see here that the uh, conditional probabilities is one minus P here, one minus P here, 
So you get out with minus P logarithm to P and one minus P logarithm to one minus P. And then we can calculate C, which is R max, which is the entropy HX minus the conditional entropy. And with then we get one plus P logarithm two to P plus one minus P logarithm to two, one minus P. That finished part one of the noisy communication channel. Next time we are going to look at how we can get uh, graphs like this for the binary uh, symmetric channel. And we are also going to look at some other channels. Bye for now.